everybody. We're uh, going quickly through section seven one and on to seven two. Um, ratios and similar polygons. Here's the first piece. Figures that are similar, and notice this little squiggly right here. This is a symbol that means is similar to. Figures that are similar have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So compare that to congruent. Congruent means same size and shape. Similar means same shape, but not necessar necessarily the same size. For example, look at angle or triangle one and triangle two. If I say they're similar, I can write the similarity statement like triangle one is similar to triangle two. These two would not be similar. If you notice, uh, they are both triangles, but their shapes are different. This one looks more like a right triangle, and this one looks more like an isosceles uh, triangle that doesn't have a right angle in it. And here's a definition, official definition. Two polygons are similar if and only if the corresponding angles are congruent and their corresponding side lengths are proportion, proportional. So all the angles have to have a uh, congruent corresponding angle. And all the side lengths, this is a little bit more complicated, have to be in the same proportion. So take a look at these two quads right here. Um, they look kind of like trapezoids. In fact, they are trapezoids. You could show that they are. And here they make the statement about all four of the angles being congruent. So all the angles have to be the same. Now, this is what we mean by the corresponding side lengths being in the same proportion. If you take a look at uh, our similarity statement, notice that AB and EF come first. So the similarity statement is kind of like congruency statements in that you are telling which sides and angles correspond based on the statement. Okay, and so if you made a ratio, and we talked about ratios yesterday, of AB over EF, that better be the same ratio, better have the same value as any other corresponding ratio that you make. Okay, so AB corresponds to EF. Notice that BC would correspond to FG and so on. Over here, here's the statement. And in all those ratios, we get the same proportion. AB over EF is 6 over 12, which reduces to 1 half, doesn't it? BC is 5.4, FG is 10.8. That also would reduce to 1 half, 4 over 8, 5 over 10. Those all reduce to the same value. That's what we mean by being in the same proportion. Okay, just a couple examples in this first video. It says, identify the pairs of congruent angles and corresponding sides of these two triangles. Okay, so I'm going to do angles first. This is how I want you to approach a question like this. So angle N is going to be congruent to angle Q. And remember, the angles have to be congruent, the same. Um, this angle is 63. Over here, this angle is 63. So angle P is congruent to angle R. And then the remaining angle, angle M and T, would have to be congruent. I could figure out what they are. In fact, they would. 90 minus 63 is 27. They're both 27. Angle M is congruent to angle T. That's the first piece. Here's the second piece, sides. They have to be in the same proportion. Okay, so let's see. On the triangle on the left, the shortest side is 1, or NP, The shortest side in the triangle on the right is 0.5, which is QR. That would have to be uh, equal to the middle side, which is MN. And the middle side over here is QT. The longest side is MP. That's the hypotenuse, right? Over the longest side over here, which is RT. And those had all better be the same. Let's check them. I'll do it down below. NP over QR, 1 over 0.5. Is that equal to MN, 2 over QT, 2 over 1? And is that equal to 2.2 over 1.1? Well, they are all, each of these, even this one, you can check this one on the calculator if you're not good with decimals or fractions. All these are equal to 2 over 1 or 2. So they are in the same proportion and the angles are congruent. Therefore, uh, these triangles have to be similar. It doesn't ask us to get a similarity statement. I could. I think I'll do this here. Uh, triangle MNP 
And here's that statement. Whoops, that's an R there, isn't it? MP is similar to triangle, should say MNP. Triangle, and I got to make sure I got the correct correspondences, uh, T and then Q. And then the last thing is R. And there's our similarity statement. Okay, let's do one more real quick. Identify the pairs and congruent angles and corresponding sides. Angles, sides. Okay, angles. Angle B is congruent to angle G. Angle A is congruent to angle well, what is A congruent to? I'm going to skip that one and go to angle C. It is congruent to angle. Um, it's 59 and H is 59. So therefore, the last one has to be J. How about sides? Okay, shortest side for the triangle, uh, the bigger triangle is BC over um, the shortest side here is HG. And is that equal to the middle side, which is 10, BA? Middle side here is JG. Biggest side over here is AC. Biggest side over here is JH. So BC over HG is 6 over 3. BA over JG is 10 over 5. And then our last one is 11.6 over 5.8. This one also happens to be equal to 2 over 1 or 2, which is just by chance. So yeah, they are going to be similar triangles. Um, if I had to make the similarity statement, triangle ABC is similar to triangle. And then we're going to go J, G, H. Okay, good. Thanks for watching this first video.